This video is a quick overview of the new site creation process in Office 365. When you click on your My Courses button, you will be brought to a page that looks slightly different than before. For starters, you will notice that the old courses initialized last semester are listed at the bottom of the page. These sites still exist and are operational, however they will not have the same administrative controls as is demonstrated in the rest of this video. So if you've, unless you've invested heavily into these sites already, you are advised to ignore these links and start fresh by creating new sites with the new process. To create a new site, simply click on the Add New Site button and you will be brought to this page. The advantage of this process is that you can create any site with any name and share it with any group of students. That could be a class site or it could be a basketball team or book club within the school. In this example, I will imagine that I'm creating a site for my Physics 11U students. By selecting the class type, it simply changes what the icon will look like to students on their My Courses page. If I select a science icon, it will have a picture of a microscope. If I chose mathematics, it would have a picture of a calculator, for example. Now, the most significant change is the permission panel at the bottom of the page. By sharing this with a group of students, not only will they be given access to the page, they will also have an icon created for them on their My Courses page. This is different than how sites were shared in the past, because in the past, students would have to go through their email to find a link to the page that you shared with them. I can share it with distribution lists. which accesses every student in the, in the class list. And when I give them certain permissions, I can choose what type of permission to add them. I could also add multiple sections to this one site. So as an example, I could also add section B and give them student level permissions. If at the end of the semester I wanted to keep the site but change who has access to it, then I can simply come back to this administrative panel, hover over that group of students, and click the red X. Students will now lose access to the site and will also have the course, the button removed from their My Courses page. It is also possible to add individual users. In this example, I could add another teacher as a collaborator and give them teacher level permissions, which gives them greater access to the look and feel as well as the functionality of the site. If you are looking for an individual student, you can add them by searching their name or typing in their student number. Once your site is created, you can simply click the Create Site button and you will be brought to your new site. To return to this administration panel, you will notice that there is a link on the left side of your new site that says administration. I hope this video was helpful to you. 